Do you want to feel more confident, but you don't know how, or you're tired of the standard affirmation and glow up advice? Well, I'm going to spill the tea on what's actually holding you back from being a confident queen. We're going to be talking about the confidence myth and the two secret confidence killers. So if you're ready to be an empowered baddie, let's go. Is that bitch a clock? When we talk about confidence, we often think about the confidence we can see. It's like, the bad bitch energy, a killer outfit, and a confident tone of voice. So that is actually external confidence. The media perpetuates that looking a certain way and the ability to speak in a certain tone equals confidence, but that's not true. True confidence comes from within. It's your self-worth, self-love, self-acceptance. Unfortunately, there are two secret confidence killers that hold us back from feeling like the confident queens that we are. Can you guess what they are? So the first one is a triple threat. No matter what we accomplish or own, this one tells us we're never good enough. So we're bombarded daily by media and ads on the latest skincare, fashion, dieting trends. There's also rampant social media comparison where we see the highlight reels and picture perfect edits of other people's lives. And lastly, not to mention ongoing pressure for more, make more money, be more productive, buy more things, more, more, more. Can you guess what this confidence killer is? If you guessed consumerism and capitalism, ding, 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 you are correct. So capitalism often equates self-worth with productivity and financial success. So we tend to judge ourselves and our self-worth with what job we have, how much money we make, and like what's the most expensive thing that we own. So those standards are BS and it is unhealthy for our self-worth and confidence. Consumer culture adds another layer of BS by promoting materialism and saying, you're not good enough unless you have that car, house, watch, iPad, whatever it is. Media and advertising also creates super toxic beauty standards, especially for women. Most companies make money when they convince us that we're flawed, we're ugly, old, wrinkly, we have dry skin, whatever, so they can sell us their products. I honestly think if everyone woke up and felt like bad bitches in our own skin and didn't feel the need to buy all these things, those beauty companies would collapse overnight kind of sus. Lastly, social media is so misleading and toxic for us. We see picture perfect edits and highlight reels of everyone's lives, especially influencers and celebrities. And those are unrealistic to compare, especially with our everyday lives. Overall, the message we get from consumerism and capitalism is you are not good enough. You need to buy our products. You need to be more productive, more, 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 more. You're not good enough, good enough, good enough, okay? And I'm telling you, that is a load of BS. So why do we need the values of capitalism and consumerism to dictate and assess our self-worth? We don't need the bullshit values from this capitalist monopoly man, okay? So now it's time to say bye 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 to those BS values. Bye, bye, bye. So the second confidence killer spreads a bunch of BS about what women should look like or how women should behave. So this confidence killer has two main messages. Number one, women should be nice. This killer slaps a bitch label on any woman who dares stand her ground or speak up, especially at the workplace. The second is women should look pretty nice, young and thin. It tells us that our work as women is measured by our weight, our wrinkles, our outfits, and that's so wrong. It tells us that aging and being overweight is basically a crime. So if we don't fit in the perfect box of being young, pretty, and thin and nice, this confidence killer makes us feel like garbage. So can you guess what this confidence killer is? If you guessed patriarchy, ding, 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 you are correct. You don't win anything, but you are correct. So imagine how freeing it would feel to our self-worth and confidence if we didn't have these BS standards that we're subject to, especially for women. So yeah, we don't need the negative energy from patriarchy's BS standards. It is damaging to our confidence and self-worth. Our self-worth and confidence is way more than our appearance and how nice we are. So now it's no surprise that capitalism and patriarchy is damaging to our confidence, but how and why do we internalize these narratives? 
So knowledge is power, and I'm going to explain how this happens based on psychology. Internalizing these narratives happens subtly, almost invisibly. It starts with exposure. We see and hear these narratives everywhere. When we're watching TV, when we talk to our friends, our coworkers, when we scroll through social media, we are bombarded with narratives about capitalism and patriarchy. And it's those subtle comments that when you get a compliment about looking thin or pretty or being nice, it's those Instagram posts that glamorize wealth and hustle culture. And it's also those snarky comments about how women who are really assertive and direct are bitchy. So before you know it, these messages seep into our brains. And this is where psychology comes in. This is called social learning theory. And this theory suggests that we learn behaviors and norms by observing others and imitating them. It is a survival instinct. It helps us fit in and be accepted. Now, if you mix this in with confirmation bias, which is where we tend to notice and believe things that fit our existing beliefs. So if you're constantly exposed to the narrative that your personal worth is equal to your financial success, how thin and nice you are, you are likely to absorb that into your own belief and value system. But remember, ladies, absorbing these narratives and not feeling confident, it's not our fault. It's in the environment that we're living in. And it's a product of external systems systems like capitalism and patriarchy. So we can't dismantle patriarchy overnight, but the values of patriarchy and capitalism do not have to be your own values. You have the power to decide what values you have and what values you want to assess your own self-worth with. We are queens and we are not helpless. You've got power, you've got agency, and it's time to reclaim your confidence. So how do we fight back? Here are four tips to question the toxic narratives and reclaim our self-confidence. The first tip is on media literacy and awareness. Understand the narratives behind the media you consume and question them. Is that ad promoting unhealthy and unrealistic beauty standards? Are those influencers promoting hustle culture? And self-awareness is also key. Reflect on the messages that you've internalized over time about your worth. Are they truly your values or are they the garbage monopoly man or patriarchy's values? Journaling can help you dig into where you think your self-worth is coming from. Next is unlearning and relearning. So we're gonna have to recognize those toxic narratives for what they are garbage BS lies. They're not serving you. They're only holding you back from your full queen potential. And we don't need that negative energy. So relearning is all about replacing those toxic narratives with healthier ones. You are not your productivity. You are not your looks. You are valuable as you are. And this is where affirmations can come in and be helpful. And so is journaling. My third tip is building inner confidence. So remember queens, external confidence is not everything. True confidence runs deeper and it's about how you feel about yourself, your abilities, your authenticity and self-love. Focusing on internal confidence will provide a stronger, stable foundation for your self-worth and confidence. So if you want to feel like a bad bitch from the inside out, check out this video where I provide practical steps on how to build inner confidence. My last tip is surrounding yourself with supportive friends, role models, and community. So find spaces, people, and community that share your values and aren't spewing the toxic values of capitalism and patriarchy. And it can be hard, but it's so important. Also important is cutting out negative energy. So if there are people who are not vibing with you, cut them out or try to minimize your contact with them. Finally, find realistic role models. And I'm not talking about those influencers on Instagram or TikTok. I'm talking about real women women who are authentic, who speak their minds, who are thought leaders. For example, one of my favorite role models is Brene Brown. She's a renowned author and speaker, and she's all about authenticity and accepting your vulnerabilities. These four steps work because they disrupt the internalization process, empowering us to take control of our own beliefs, values, and attitudes to ultimately reclaim our confident bad bitch selves. Remember, confidence is not a destination. It's a journey. 
it's so key to remain compassionate and patient because it can take us a long time to unlearn these garbage, toxic narratives that we've heard for probably our entire lives. But I believe in you and I trust that you'll reclaim your bad bitch confidence. So if you want more content on leveling up your personal and professional life, subscribe for more. Oh, 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 oh